what is a shunt infection a shunt infection occurs when bacteria infect the tissue around the vp shunt when the tissue is infected it can cause the uh, vp shunt to stop working properly a shunt that does not work well can cause an increase in pressure within the brain this increase in pressure can damage the brain or threaten child's life signs of a shunt infection a fever that is equal to or higher than a uh, 100.4 degree redness or swelling of the skin that runs along the path of the vp shunt pain around the shunt or around the shunt tubing ventricular arterial a ventricular arterial shunt also is called a vascular shunt it shunts the cerebral ventricles through the jugular vein and superior vena cava into the right cardiac atrium it is when the patient has abdominal abnormalities example peritonitis morbid density obesity or after extensive abdominal surgery this shunt requires repeated lengthening in a growing child ventricular peritoneal shunt ventricular arterial shunt this is the diagram peritoneal and arterial lumboperitoneal shunt lumboperitoneal shunt is used only for communicating hydrocephalus cs of fistula or pseudo tumor cerebri ventriculo pleural shunt a ventriculo pleural shunt is considered second line it is used if other shunt types are contraindicated prognosis depends on early diagnosis and prompt therapy uh, with improved diagnostic and management techniques the prognosis is becoming considerably better approximately 2/3 of patient will die at an early age if they do not receive surgical treatment complication seizure herniation of brain spontaneous arrest due to natural compensatory mechanism persistent increased icp and brain herniation development delay depression nursing management explain the family about the management required for the disorder provide pre operative nursing care assessed head circumflex spontaneal less cranial sutures and loc check also for irritability altered feeding habits and a high pitched cry